television's rural purge reflected a shift in social mood. I'm Bob Stokes, reporting for Elliott Wave International. You probably haven't heard of George Lindsay. Yet, if you're of a certain age, you'll instantly recognize him in character. He played Goober Pyle on Mayberry RFD and often appeared on Hee Haw. My wife and I passed through Nashville on a road trip a few years ago and stopped for lunch at a bookstore cafe. A man with a familiar face sat alone at a nearby table. Is that George Lindsay? I asked the cafe server. Yes, she replied. He comes here every day. I glanced over again. Lindsay was expressionless. He simply stared straight ahead. No matter, in that moment, he was still the good old boy, the country fella who amused millions of television viewers during his career. This brief episode came to mind when I read a recent issue of The Sociotomist, which named those two well-known TV shows George Lindsay was in. They became casualties of the rural purge, an epic change in primetime programming that arrived with the 1970-1971 television season. Here's an excerpt from Robert Folsom's article. Quote, As Robert Prechter has observed, quote, Sensitive mediums such as television change quickly enough to reflect changes in the primary trends of popular mood. End quote. One little studied but striking change in this most visible entertainment medium shows how television reflects social mood changes even at large degrees of trend. The 1970-71 season saw CBS cancel Green Acres, The Beverly Hillbillies, Mayberry RFD, The Red Skelton Show, The Jim Neighbors Hour, Hee Haw, Family Affair, Hogan's Heroes, and other folksy shows. It was the year CBS killed everything with a tree in it, quipped the actor who played Mr. Haney on Green Acres. End quote. Other networks also canceled long-running shows. Why the sudden and dramatic programming changes? As the sociotomist explains, the mood of the country had changed. It began with the 1966 peak and turned downward in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which reached a low point in 1970. In turn, this change in mood was manifest in the radical shift of the 1970-1971 television season. What could be more different than the Beverly Hillbillies than All in the Family? The latter show claimed primetime television's number one spot and stayed there for five consecutive seasons. Indeed, the nation's viewers were ready to embrace comedy with an edge and to reject the safe and comfortable. Socionomics helps you to see how changes in social mood lead to changes in social trends. Reserve your seat at the 2014 Social Mood Conference this Saturday, April 5th in Atlanta. Please follow this link to learn more.